Wait, Alec is not even in the <gasps> frame. Alex, sorry, sorry. You need, no, you need to sit on the couch. Yeah, no. You need to move it this way a little is bit. It yeah. Okay. Hands on knees, please. It's Wait, it's not. Hold away. Hey, what's up, Okay. Oh, this is too awkward. I can't do it. <laughs> Hey, what's up? Hello, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Emma, and if you're not new here, my name is still Emma. Today, I'm joined by all these, literally, all, <laughs> and we're answering you guys' questions related to university. So, we're gonna go around in a clockwise motion and introduce ourselves, our name, where we're from, and what we're studying here at Waikato University. So, I'll start. So, obviously, I'm Emma, I'm from Auckland, and I'm studying communications. Hi, I'm Morgan, I'm from Te Amuru, and I'm studying Screen and Media Studies. What's up guys, I'm Libby, and I'm from Rewa, South Auckland. I'm studying Education and Society and Human Development. Hey, I'm Alan, I'm doing Computer Science, and I'm from Aotehina, if you've ever heard of that. How specific should I be? <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm Liam, I'm from New Plymouth, Taranaki, and I study Bachelor of Mathematics and Computer Science, major in Computer Science and minor in Music. Um, yeah. And he's also Irish. That's a doozy. I own these people. <laughs> Hello, mine's David. My my name is David. I'm <laughs> from New Plymouth. <laughs> I'm studying computer science. Hi, I'm Rachel. I'm from Tauranga and I'm studying teaching. And behind the camera we have... Taya. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> so Taya's got the questions. She doesn't want to be on camera. So she's just... Do you want to be a part of it? So she's asking the questions, which we are all collectively going to answer. So guys, if you want to say something, just say it. Otherwise, it's going to be for days. Okay, number one. Are the halls worth it? Yes. 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 Always. Yes. yes. Actually, yeah. I kind of just jump on that as well. Because lots of people said, like, is it worth going to the halls the first year to, like, make friends and stuff? Is it a yes as well? Yes. 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 I mean, people have been in the halls and it's, like, really helpful. Yeah. It's really convenient as well because you're on campus. Sort of forces right, you okay. to learn to deal with people. Okay, what is your favourite part of uni? The halls. The, yeah, the <laughs> halls. <laughs> Learning. I was going to say that. Love the home. nerd stuff. How did you know which courses you wanted to take? Like what career path? I feel like you just know. When you find it, you when, you come in. when you come across it, like that's the one. Yeah. Like an emotional <laughs> Must be <lost. laughs> Sorry for all the single people out there. <laughs> How do you remain fit and healthy whilst being at uni. Forced to go to the gym with Emory. Don't. There's two kinds of people. Yeah. Yeah. Did you find it hard staying away from home in the first couple of weeks? Personally, not really, to be honest. I feel like if you've been at home your whole life, you'll strive off of independence. It's kind of biased, but no, because I've spent six and a half years in high on boarding school already, but... You're a big fan of this thing. It was kind of hard. You get used to it quickly. Yeah, yeah, like you, you definitely have a major breakdown that first week, but then I'm really sure. But there's also like so much to jump into the first week. Yeah, like, you get distracted. You just, you get yeah. distracted yeah. Mm. How many hours of study and reading do you have to do? A about lot more zero. Than Too much. Depends on your degree. Mm. More than I do. I don't know about you guys, but per week, like actual classes and lectures, I have like four hours a week per class. Most, most, most degrees have around five to six lectures a week. But then they suggest you do 40 hours on total study. Oh, sorry. How easy is it to change your major if you don't like it? Oh, it's easy. Like yeah, more we've done it. It's really easy. You just go to yeah. student centre. You, you go to like, like go to like go the first few weeks. Though. Make sure you like sort it out fast though, because it kind of sucks like yeah. stuff around with it. Is it scary going to uni for the first time? Is walking into your new empty room overwhelming? I almost cried walking into my room. I was like that scared. I don't know about you guys. It's <laughs> better than any room I've had. Liam was pretty welcoming, yeah, so it's yeah. a little easier. And it helps if your RA is great. Just to have Liam. Yeah, have Liam. <laughs> take Liam with it. Take Liam with it. Is it easy to make friends? What are some tips? Be friendly. That's to make friends. Yeah. Even, so, stuff. Yeah, even just leaving your door open so as people walk past, they like you can yeah, say hi. Stop. Don't hide in your room. Yeah. The more you get just out, walk to lots you of just sit around. <laughs> Rico. What's Waikato like planning on going next year? Great. Amazing. Fun. Life changing. Yeah, Interesting. Good. Beautiful. Fantastic. Cool. What was the hardest adjustment going from high school to uni? Workload. Yeah. Independence. The assignments. Yeah. People don't chase you Readings. up if you don't do your work. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, you're a the What is the best way to pay for uni? I don't want to be in debt for ages. Get a job the, the year before. Oh, yeah, scholarship. Just scholarship. advice like and this, scholarship. yeah. There's a lot of scholarships that just go there no one actually applies for. Yeah. And and just just try, yeah. yeah. Just apply. Even if you don't much pay. scholarships. Yeah. 
Also, um, being an RA is great as well. <laughs> yeah. Do they check your level three grades? If you don't have good grades in level three, you won't even do you do. You just need a party. Um, yeah, all you need is a little three. From experience, if you don't have UE, you have to do a bridging course. <laughs> <laughs> How did you find that, Alec? <laughs> Nothing sucks more than getting yourself. halfway through the bridging course and finishing UE. Um. And then having no reason to be doing this course. Is there a big party culture? Yeah. Um, yeah. No. No parties at all. Morgan's the only one not from doing <coughs> no alcohol for. So it is be. a big drinking culture. Yeah. But definitely, yeah. But not if you don't want to do parties. Not if you don't yeah. want to do parties. Hey, Sam. Hi, Ryan. Alright, guys, subscribe to Sub. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Yeah. Why do I spell it? S I. You think this? I'm gonna subscribe to you, okay? Yeah, I think that's gonna be cut. Follow me on Instagram. Don't believe this. What is something you didn't expect to be hard? Readings. Yeah, readings. I think there'd be so many of them. Yeah, it's a lot. Grades. If you have oh. the right attitude, it's not hard. How long are your semesters and the holidays in between? I don't actually know. <laughs> yeah, you get, it's 12 weeks per semester and you get two weeks in the middle. Which isn't really a holiday. Yeah, and but the mid-semester break but depending on when your exam finished, can be anywhere between five and two weeks. Was you being a non-drinker hard in uni? Yeah. I feel like nah. I was going to say not really. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of people think that drinking is just part of uni, whereas it's optional. And if you're coming to uni, you should come to study, not to drink, because you can just drink at home. <laughs> With your mum and dad. What sports and societies are available? What? what? Like clubs. Just yeah. about anything. Yeah. I don't like, participate in anything. There's dance club. There's always like, one there might thing have a club day at the start of the um, year you can go and like sign up for clubs. Yeah. I know at least that Waikato University has a potato appreciation club if that's oh. what you're into. <laughs> <laughs> have you joined that? No, I haven't. There's um, interval sports as well, so you can <laughs> get a sports team on your floor and you know, first against the other. Yeah, Why haven't we done that? Yeah, I don't know COVID. Oh, no. <laughs> Is it like high school where you can meet and get help from your teacher or professor whenever? Yes, mm -hmm. I would say yes, yeah. because you yeah. can actually email your lecturers at any time and they're happy to respond and you can go into the offices as well and get help. It's just a lot of people are scared too. And I, but I feel like you, if you just dump on like something little, you should try and sort out yourself first, yeah. Yeah. rather than just going straight. They also have like help sessions, like kind of mass. You can go to like a certain block at like lunchtime and they go all the way up to year two. And like, you know, you can just ask anything and you get one on one help and it's like free tutoring pretty much. Costs in the first year? Not really anything much on top of your actual accommodation unless you're like into drinking and stuff. What's next? Is it easy to form friendships with older students? Yeah, yeah it is. Are you guys my friends? I'm old. They see your RA, they're like, in your courses, you need like with people in your own, like in your year in university. So unless you're meeting them in the halls, I guess it's kind of tricky. How did you first feel when you moved to uni compared with how you feel now? It just feels like home. Yeah, yeah if, you make, if you make the halls home, it's really easy to fit in here. We're all like a big family. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I feel like first, like after like two or three weeks, it's like, it yeah, like it's home. like a bit of an adrenaline rush for the first few weeks. And yeah. you just kind of like settle into it. Yeah. Like anything. Mm -hmm. At least for me, going home felt like really weird. Like first time. How do you keep up uni and a job like working at a supermarket, etc? I think it's pretty important to first understand what commitments you have at uni first and understand where your free hours are first and then um, try and look for a job that matches those free hours. If you can find a job that goes full time over the holidays, that can be just about as effective as getting like um, like four to six hours a week during um, mm -hmm. the semester. So sometimes it can be worth just focusing on studies and then just trying to get a like a full like 30, 40 hour week in the holidays. What's one thing you prefer about university compared to high school? What is it? Yeah, yeah, independence. Independence. yeah independence. 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 There's no like yeah. compulsory classes, you get to choose whatever you want. So it's like on the <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> The halls. Yeah. 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 Because you are living in the halls, does it feel hard to escape from uni life? I feel a little bit like more so now that we've been in the halls for a while, I'm getting like quite used to it. How much alone time do you have on a daily basis? Like 20 door minutes? How much you choose? No, I'm going to do some racial like that. If you shut your door then... <laughs> what? If you just sleep all day. <laughs> <laughs>
Yeah. Do you get to choose your times for lectures or do you get given them? You, you get, yeah, you get given lecture times. But, but tutorials and workshops are choose. Yeah. Are lectures worth attending in person? Oh, 100%. No, I, mean, I feel like COVID kind of changed my opinion. <laughs> yeah, I, was, I like kind of rewind it and stuff, but then it's also a good thing. I guess I'm just tripping. I like going on point, like, two times speed so that you can, like, I like to pause it and write, oh, yes. Yeah, pause and write notes and stuff. Do you think going to uni is worth it if you can go to a polytech and finish quicker? Mm, no. Nah. I feel like um, polytech stuff doesn't have as much clout when looking for a job. Like if you can do something and you can do it at uni, then do it at uni as opposed to like a polytech. But if you can do it at polytech and it's not available at uni, then obviously. Yeah. Yeah. Polytech seem to be more trade. Yeah, if you want to be a tradie, just go to polytech. Yeah, yeah. fine. If you're going to come to uni, how did you find learning about referencing? Yeah, it's giving like a guide, which pretty much is like. I still don't think I've arrived. The library is pretty comprehensive. It's actually really hard. Yeah. If you, you, can, you can send it to the library and they'll actually give you. There are tools that you can use online, but finding them can be yeah. inconvenient. Yeah. Can you explain the differences between each hall and what each is best known for? College Hall is typically the more high maintenance hall, is that we just have better yeah. facilities than the others um, and it, it's, it's, like it's a little bit nicer yeah Plus we're, we're freshly renovated as well whereas student village and bryant hall they're also good halls i know the ra's there um, and how it's run and it's it's not dissimilar but the communities always tend to be a little bit different yeah when should you apply for uni slash wintech is it about now yeah no is it hard to sleep or study if people are drinking or are loud in the hall yeah, why is D1 on the bottom floor? Here at college there's a noise ban after 10, so we go around us RAs and kick anyone out when, and tell them to shut up if it's past 10 o'clock. So if it is loud, you can actually call the jury RA and place a noise complaint and we'll go through that. Is the Wi-Fi good? Yes. yes. Sometimes good. <laughs> very good. Sometimes. Yeah. Sometimes. Well, especially if you've got Ethernet though, that's like yeah, very like quick. Great. Info about applying for scholarships. Just be open. And um, there are a lot of different scholarships for like different types of people. So it could be like academics, um, sports, uh, family as well. If you didn't have it easy, mm -hmm. and uh, yeah, just just get like a teacher to help you, something like that. Mm -hmm. It'll be easy. Uni halls charging almost four hundred dollars per week. Daylight robbery. Three seventy. Oh, it's worth it. When you consider internet, power, and food, water, and shelter, and water, you yeah, have to worry about and, like, and how close you are. Yeah, you pay for the experience. It's, it's like so much more than just paying for accommodation education. If you lived in a flat that was further away from uni, you'd probably pay more in petrol money. So. Important things to take when moving into the halls. Anything you forget to pack that you needed. I forgot one of those shower things that you put on top that has like for your soap. Oh, oh gosh, <laughs> that's I forgot that that's actually... a lot of glasses <laughs> which is actually, but I feel like if you forget something, like most unis are pretty accessible to like a warehouse or a yeah. countdown or a Kmart or something. Rate the New Zealand unis from favourite to least favourite. Why could the top? Yeah. And then Vic, I reckon. Is this a collaborative? Because I like Waikato, Auckland, Otago. I don't like Auckland and AUT like pretty. Well, I like AUT like when I went to see it. But I really like AUT until I went into the halls of residence and I was like, yeah. 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 Well, oh, what about yeah? What about Dunners? Oh, yeah, that, that excessive party culture. Looks nice. Yeah, it looks good though. Quite Instagram worthy. Okay, finishing off with a banger. Would you swim across the dodgy uni lakes for some no. coffee and a scone and a mento? No chance. Probably not. There's no way. <laughs> yeah, no. That actually, one is gross. I tell a genuine story. Some residents went swimming in there one time, and their whole floor got sick, and they had to literally like quarantine their floor and do it. So it's a joke jump in the lake at university. Yeah. <laughs> even though the ducks look pretty. Even though they look really pretty. The ducks look pretty. That's, that's, that's it. Wow. Well, thank you all for your help. I didn't try to edit all that. Oh my god. <laughs> 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 stay safe, stay well, and. Thanks, Thanks so everyone, for showing What do I press? What do I do? Oh, it's still recording. Wait, it says Rick. One, two, three, four, five, four, six, seven, eight. Hi, Rico. Rico! Also, love you. The ducks are great. No, actually, the ducks are everywhere. That's why. Each person has to give me one adjective, it has to be different. <laughs> We, we Google it. it and it doesn't pop up. Do you know what you expect? <laughs> it's okay, Ellen. I mean, oh, cut that. <laughs> it's it's Q&A. Do you guys want to answer a cue? We should ask if they think you will have a little honey. <laughs> 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 Leave.
Mám bevo.